hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Mahesh Karia. you guys are watching me on youtube now and in this session i'm gonna take you through event loop event loop is a hard bit of node.js and to go through all the phases of event loop uh and uh, of course this is a pretty much common interview question that in almost all the interviewers will ask you if you are uh moving forward to take interviews or as an interviewer or if you are giving interview so uh, without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so there are a bunch of phases like timers pending callbacks idle prepare poll check co close callbacks and uh, there are certain queues and stacks behind the scene they go from here and there and even though it's single threaded how it it will manage the multi threading operations that i will take you through so uh, first thing first, please go through this uh, this page. I'll share this page in description. Simply search uh, nodejs.org slash or Google it just event loop uh, space nodejs. So you will be greeted with this beautiful page where uh, event loop explained pretty much uh, pretty well. And uh, you will go through all the things and later uh, I'll show you this all the things uh, visually with uh, JSV nine triple o dot app so this is a uh, uh, best uh, app created by andrew dylan and that is inspired by loop and loop is this this one is created by loop so here a bunch of examples are given how it works behind the scene let's suppose what is called stack these are the these are the things this is the architecture of event loop okay so everything goes to stack but uh, timers like things always go to uh, the queue and the promises promises mostly go in here micro task so i'll i'll go one by one so we'll just execute this run and after run you will be you can see this two options uh, just go one by one so click here step so first one went to here okay what is last written went here then second then third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight nine because there is no async of it so it's pretty much straightforward and it will pop up like okay because it's a stack it will go in reverse order later if you need an example of task queue it's it will have a set timeout like functions whatever the time related things will go into the task queue so if i run this thing and if i see uh it's going to the queue first it's not going to the stack and b and let us see okay now it will uh d will go to the call stack because this is not uh doing any async or time operations so d will get executed first later it will come to the c because it's it's a queue and uh, it will go into the stack so it will be in the right order while executing things okay so b b got executed a got executed so you understood right c b a ha, this is how it works in re reverse order micro micro queue it's uh, when you use a promise it will go into the micro task queue okay micro task where b went there and c went there and again b went to stack first then c went to stack and then your fetch fetch kind of things comes into the micro task queue and that will get executed okay and if you see the task versus micro task this is the best example where uh, promise and set timeout is there and when you execute this the a will go first in here okay into the task queue and later b will go to the micro task but the uh, real thing is b goes first okay so promise will or micro task will always go first before the actual queue and you can try this out okay but the another most important question was uh, when i went through many interviews was how nodejs is able to handle it's a single threaded and how it's managing the multi-threading operations behind the scene so for that the best example that i, I can show you is uh this is the simplest code that i have found okay where you and these i haven't used any node modules okay these are the inbuilt modules libraries of node.js that uh, you guys can go through and what i did is 
I need a module that is cluster and through cluster I'll understand that uh, this one is a master node or do I need to create the worker node okay so I need to find the number of CPUs so that's how I'll identify the number of CPUs by OS library and once I get the number of CPUs later I'll this is 0 0.8 meaning the 80% of CPU I wanted to utilize or 100% if you don't wanna do anything so whenever you do the cluster dot fog meaning the same replica of this thing is gonna get created okay so let's suppose if you have a 8 16 core cpu it's gonna create 8 or 16 uh, fox that will be replicas and that's how the load balancing works actually behind the scene okay so what we are doing here is we have a server that is running on port 8000 imagine you have an express server that is working on 3000 or something and you guys are creating the load balancer okay that if, if i try to run this thing it will create the n number of workers okay so this is so very very important because you don't utilize all the time the complete cpu it always uh, works on the single cpu and that's how you don't uh, like engage the entire cpu cores okay and that's how we take full advantage of node.js and uh, if i if i i need to close this because i i'll go with the 